So thank you, Secretary Pompeo, for making it clear that religious freedom is a top foreign policy priority for this administration. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. It's great to be with you all. Thank you, Ambassador Brownback, for the kind introduction. Your team has done a fantastic job uh, with this incredibly special event. Thank you. Thank you and all of your team. I also want to give a special welcome to those of you who have been persecuted for your faith. The UN Universal Declaration of Human Rights affirms religious freedom or belief as a universal right. It's been now more than two centuries, and it is, it's such a boost to see so many allies in the fight, and religious freedom is one of them. Our Constitution puts it in the very First Amendment. Be allowed to be affected by politics. And that he is with us today. Please welcome the Vice President of the United States, Mike Pence. Well, Ambassador Brownback, Your Excellencies, and to all of those who have struggled under religious persecution, you honor us by your presence all. Our Declaration of Independence proclaims that our precious liberties are not the gift of government, but rather they're the freedom at home and abroad. So allow me to begin by bringing greetings and welcome. And I'd ask the Foreign Minister of Armenia to take the floor. Thank you very much. Uh, Dear colleagues, it is the second time Armenia participates in the Ministerial to Advance Religious Freedom hosted by the U.S. Department of State. We view this conference as a great opportunity to collectively identify effective ways and partnerships for better protection and promotion of the freedom of religion or belief. As a strong supporter of the universality of human rights, Armenia promotes adherence to international human rights instruments and firm commitments to ensuring freedom of religion within the framework of the overall democratization of the society. The nonviolent Velvet Revolution that took place in Armenia in April, May last year, once again demonstrated the powers of tolerance, non-discrimination, and respect for human rights um, and their value in our society. Colleagues, religion represents an institution of identity and the protection of the identity. Our history is a telling story about that. Tolerance and respect to all religions is based on our national experience, Christian heritage, and long history of living together and sharing with other faiths. Freedom of religion and belief is an absolute human right which cannot be abolished or curtailed under any circumstances, inclu including in complex situations. Protecting religious minorities played a crucial role in establishing modern systems of human rights, which clearly established that grave and massive violations of human rights cannot be considered as a domestic affair, but should, should be of legitimate concern for all members of the international community. Protection of religious groups has been well defined in the crime suppression international instruments, such as the Convention on the Prevention and Punishment of the Crime of Genocide. Preventing mass atrocities against members of religious groups is an absolute priority for Amin. We know what it means to be a persecuted religious group within the oppressive framework. It is a duty for us to pledge support to all those who are persecuted, including on the basis of their religion and belief today. Amin became a safe haven for a number of vulnerable religious minorities, particularly Yazidis and the Syrians. Today, Yazidis are the strongest minority group in Armenia. We're very proud that the biggest temple of this ancient people very soon will open in their Armenian homeland. Together with the most ancient Christian churches of the world and magnificent Blue Mosque of Yerevan, it will symbolize beauty of faith and tolerance. Unfortunately, we have been witnessing recurrence of mass atrocities, including acts of genocide against Yazidis and Christians in the Middle East. These persecutions occur in the name of religion 
as religion is often misused and abused by those who perpetrate violence or justify it. Attempts to equalize victims and perpetrators by referring to their religious differences is misleading for a simple reason. Perpetrators, unlike the victims, do not represent any religion. And attempts to justify grave crimes, including genocide, by summoning religious solidarity or hiding behind religion is an insult to any religion. The rehabilitation of persecuted communities, the return and restitution of the places of worship, educational and other property, are essential components of protection of the freedom of religion. To date, we received more than 20,000 refugees from the Middle East and provide assistance uh, to them on the ground. Armenia stands ready to cooperate with all interested parties to recover ancestral presence of Christians in the Middle East by rebuilding their lives, communities, and churches. The Armenian people historically have been significant contributors to diversity, harmony, and prosperity of the countries and societies of the Middle East. This conference provides an excellent platform to initiate partnerships to this end. Colleagues, uh, we uh, welcome this conference and we would welcome this conference to become an annual event. We're convinced that it would amplify opportunities to build up uh, on international consensus and networks for advocacy on religious freedom. The freedom of religion is essential in unleashing potential of any religion as a force striving for peace, harmony, sense of belonging and optimism for the future of humanity. Next, I call on the Foreign Minister.